The SS United States, the ocean liner that holds the record for the fastest transatlantic crossing, now sits in decay. She cannot stay at her current location as she faces eviction from her dock in South Philly. With only a few weeks left until she has to be moved, her fate after that is unknown. In her prime, she was the ocean liner who made positive headlines while she was in service for civilians. Many of those civilians, immigrants, making their way to start a new life in the United States. However, she was also designed to serve in war and carry troops if needed across the seas. As time passed and traveling by plane became more popular for civilians and armed forces, demand for ocean liners like her declined. She was put into retirement in 1969 and has been docked on the Delaware River in Philadelphia since 1996. She is bare bones. Over the years, parts of her and her furnishings have been auctioned off or sold. Efforts to repurpose her have fallen short. With her faded colors, she casts a neutral, monochromatic color palette, blending in with the water and skies. From a distance, looking like a part of a backdrop for a movie. There are no deck chairs on her stern, just a mangled railing damaged by a crane operator and one of her four propellers awaiting its fate. The two rear king posts once held cranes on them for loading and unloading cargo on and off the ship. Now, they overlook an operational crane one dock over. The red, white, and blue funnels are the largest of their kind, with wings in the rear to direct smoke away from passengers, but also to add unique shape, giving the funnels the appearance of movement. The funnels complement the rest of the sleek design of her hull, giving the entire ship the feeling of movement. Though she hasn't moved from this dock for more than a quarter century. Soon, she will have no choice but to disembark from this location, to where is still unknown.